<laughs> Whoa, is that dude really wearing body armor? Hey everyone, got a body armor review today that for once I'm not actually going to shoot, at least in this review. A little while ago I received a care package from Caddy, or Katie Armor, come and take it, that asked me to take the Caddy CQB Challenge. Caddy's CQB or Combat Quad Bend plates are meant to be as low profile as possible while providing you with NIJ Level 3 threat protection. I've tested their Level 3 and 3 Plus plates in the past and they're no joke. Typically if you were wanting as low profile as possible you'd have to go to a soft flexible armor rated for pistols only. Most rifle plates being made of steel, polyethylene, or ceramic lack typically more than one bend and or on the thicker side unless you're dropping a lot of coin on body armor. I set out to try to find a few different scenarios to wear this armor in public to see if somebody actually noticed me wearing it and if they said anything. I took it to the park with my son. I went to the mall with it. I wore a suit with it. I spent all day shooting with it on. And heck, I even added it to my workout routines and did the Murphs 2017 in it. I did have to add four pound plate to it to get to the 20 pounds. Besides wearing it over clothes, the only time someone actually noticed me wearing it was when I was in the park and some kids were playing Pokemon Go commented as I walked by, hey, is that dude wearing body armor? Certain color shirts and fitments definitely made it more noticeable. If anything, it made it look like I had a really pumped up chest. With trauma pads, both plates, and the B's combat systems carrier, you're right around 16 pounds. Yes, the main disadvantage to steel is the weight. It does take some getting used to wearing armor, especially adding 16 pounds to your frame. You'll definitely get hot if you're in warm climates wearing armor, but that's the nature of the beast. The bends not only help keep the low profile, but aid in comfort. I've worn flat plates before and these far outweigh them in comfort. Eight hours was probably the longest that I wore this armor set up. The Bees Combat Carrier makes rapid deployment and adjustment of breeze. It's minimalist to help cut down on bulk. I like being able to adjust tightness very easily with the Velcro. Definitely not something you can do easily with the Sentry style plate carriers with the clasps and things on the side. If you find you need to wash your carrier because it's got a little bit of stank to it, you can easily separate both halves and slip the armor out and hand wash it in the sink. Here are the combat quad bend plates. Like I mentioned, they are very curvy. Kind of like a sexy woman. Curves are a good thing. Trauma pads are there to help and comfort or any of the blunt force trauma that you may receive if you were to take a hit with these or if you kind of jump on the floor doing burpees. These kind of help absorb some of that. Here's a plate up against my body frame. It's kind of hard to tell, but they do hug your body pretty well, especially around the chest area and down here. With all the praise I have to give about how well the plates hug my body and don't hinder movement, I do have a few minor annoyances with the plate carrier. I'd like to see more Velcro on the other side of the shoulder straps. In order to get the plate in the proper position for coverage, there's only about an inch, maybe inch and a half of Velcro holding the two halves together. Maybe extend it a little bit on the strap and part of the carrier just so you have more Velcro to bite into. Having the ability to hide this leftover flap here, maybe somehow with a slit into the plate carrier would be a plus two. The other area of concern is where the flap for the bottom of the carrier to hold the plates in is. 
Again, I've mentioned I've worked out in this carrier, so I've sweated in it a lot more than you probably would just using it. But the Velcro is close to the edge here, and from use, it's kind of turned out on itself. If you're like my friend who didn't listen to me to put a shirt on before using this carrier before Murph, you end up with some wicked rug burn on your back. Again, wear a t-shirt, not an issue. Perhaps the Velcro needs to be up inside the carrier more. At the time of this writing, a full loadout with base coat and level 3 with trauma pads is right around on the $300 MSRP. I believe they've released their level 3 plus steel in their new combat quad bend pattern as well. To further, it seems they noticed I took a great liking to it while working out. They now offer their combat quad bend pattern in a training, aka non-ballistic rated plate, in 14 and 20 pound increments. I'll be certain to do a follow up review on those, as my wife now has a set and we've been trying various workouts with them from pull ups to push ups, running, handstand push ups, etc. I'd like to thank Caddy for making such a badass product and for you all for watching. Catch you at the range.